And welcome to the ETF Edge portion of Halftime Report. I'm Bob Pisani. As the market continues to hit new highs, there's been growing interest in how to stay in the market, but at the same time provide some kind of downside protection without getting too complicated. Not surprisingly, ETFs are popping up to provide those kinds of solutions. Let's talk with Paul Kim. He's the CEO of Simplify ETFs, whose firm specializes in alternative strategy and option-based ETFs. Dave Nodick, my old friend, CIO and director of research of ETF Trends, joins us as well. Paul, you recently unveiled two ETFs to hedge on interest rates and volatility. Tell us about your largest product. This is the Equity Plus Downside Convexity ETF. That's a real mouthful, but it provides a put option overlay with owning the S&P. Tell us about it. Thanks, Bob. Um, SPD, which is the ticker for that product and our largest product, is essentially an SP500 uh, exposure with an overlay of options. And so what is this ETF doing? It's providing access to direct hedges inside of an ETF, which makes it very easy to get desired U.S. large cap exposure uh, with risk mitigation built in. Why is that a big problem? Well, everyone's seeing all of the metrics around extreme market valuations, and we know a lot of the sort of froth in this market at some point will come down at some point. We don't know when. And so in that context of trying to time a market, is it better to sort of find an alternative that provides insurance built into the strategy and avoids having to time when to go to cash, when to become defensive, or have to rely on bonds. Yeah, you know, Dave, these products make sense for people who want to buy some upside protection and downside production as well. But we're in an up market. There doesn't seem to be a lot of demand for these products right now. It, 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 is, what's it going to take to suddenly make this a really hot sector, this, these, these kinds of hedge fund-like strategies? Well, it's kind of become a hot sector. We've had about $5 billion flow into products like this over the last six, seven months. The reason for that is because people are worried about market valuations. I don't think we need a big downturn for people to think about hedging. But obviously, until things come down, these products don't look like they're working. Yeah. Right now, we'll see. Of course, remember, we're going to downside market, and then you'll see them really pop here. Yep. Thanks, guys. Much more on how ETFs are providing new products to hedge against stock risk, interest rate risk, volatility risk, all kinds of risk coming up with Paul and Dave on ETF Edge at 1.10 p.m. Eastern Time, etfedge.cnbc.com. Halftime, back right after this.